A Venezia giocherà con il numero 33 perché quando era piccolo suo papà era un grande fan di un certo Karim Abdul Jabbar che aveva questa mossa del gancio cielo che poi è diventato uno dei suoi gesti tecnici preferiti. Io sono Alessandra Tropiano e questo è il Nice to Meet con Kyle Wiltier. Wiltier nella stagione 2021-2022, oltre ad aver vinto la Champions League con le Novo Tenerife, è stato anche un grandissimo realizzatore da tra il migliore della Liga ASB con un numero impressionante, il 47,8% dall'arco. So today I'm in Venezia with a new entry, Kai Wiltier. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you as well. How are you doing? I'm doing great, just uh, blessed to be in Italy. It's been a dream of mine to play in Italy for uh, quite some time. Okay, so what about the first impact with Venice that is such a nice city, but also with the team? Yeah, uh, amazing guys, uh, you know, a lot of funny funny characters, a lot yeah, of personalities, the uh, definitely Rajon. <laughs> yeah, okay. Rajon is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, no, just good, good high-level players, very talented, and uh, you know, city of Venice is beautiful. Uh, it's actually one of my bucket list locations to travel so to. Checked. So yeah, so I checked it for basketball, so it's not bad. Okay, let's talk about basketball now. How was the first impact with the league? And what do you think maybe is more tough, more challenging than other leagues? Yeah, it's, um, it's a very tough league, a lot of great players. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've only played in uh, two games so far and uh, we've won both, so it's been a great start. And we just hope to continue this momentum in the league and, and just take one game at a time and enjoy the process. I know you are um, in some way familiar with the European basketball because you play some competition with, uh, with Canada, correct? Yeah, so I've played in a bunch of the windows and, uh, you know, FIBA World Cup. And so very familiar with the European game and style. And so I hope to, to bring that knowledge uh, to the team. Okay, and also uh, it's like a family affair, Italy, for you because your dad started mm -hmm. his career in Brescia, correct? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, as soon as I signed in Italy, he told me it was one of his favorite places to play, and okay. and so he was excited for me, and and I'm, I'm I share that excitement as well. He's gonna come to Italy to see you. He hopes so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My all, as soon as I signed in Italy, everyone in my family asked to come. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, everyone a trip to Everyone Venice. wants a trip. Yeah. <laughs> So this is your first year in Italy. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in the team that could be like your teacher? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think probably uh, probably Marco Spisu. You know, yeah. he's a point guard and he has uh, a lot of experience with the national team. And so uh, I've played against him over the years. He's a, an amazing player and very unselfish, but can score. So I hope to learn about the Italian league and, and the ways from him. Okay, so what about three shot because are your specialty? Uh, is a thing that you can improve in your life or maybe you think you you born with that? Um, I think uh, it's something that I was maybe born with mm -hmm. but I think it, when I was at an early age I learned shooting and I just did many like a ton of work my my father actually never shot at all okay. he was close to the basket and so when I was a little boy he he made me shoot and shoot and shoot so I think now it's something that it's it's easy and natural but mm -hmm. I think it's definitely something I learned at a, at, a, at a young age okay so if we have to set a goal for the end of the season mm -hmm. and what you want to improve yeah I mean uh, the main goal is championships yeah. so uh, we hope to win the Italian League and you can't skip steps, you just have to take one game and you learn from the coaches. Mm -hmm. There's going to be ups and downs, but you just have to continue and continue to fight every day. And what about Coach Bahia? Because I know you already met him when you played in Spain. Yeah, we've, I was very familiar with him. Um, he actually was coaching in China. And then when he went to Spain, we had some conversations. Um, just in passing, he's a great guy and uh, a very fierce competitor. So it's a coach I wanted to play for someday. So I'm very lucky that he picked up the phone and that uh, Ryer Venetia called me. So good luck, man. Thank you, thank you.